Hello, everybody. It's me, Mallory. I'm a product manager here at Sales Message, and I wanted to make a video to show you a little more in-depth uh, walkthrough of our new and improved smart broadcasting. So that's what I'm going to show you now. It might be a little bit long, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. We're in it together. Um, first things first, when you get to your uh, sales message web app, you want to go to this little paper airplane over here. That's your broadcast page. So you can see it shows me all of the broadcasts that I have sent, or maybe they're in draft. Maybe I was playing around, testing things out. Um, you can see those here. If this is empty, that is a true shame, and I hope that after you watch this video or maybe you watch this video while you're doing it, you can send your first broadcast and start to fill this up here. So I just want to go into create broadcast and you have your screen here. So if you remember how we previously had the broadcast feature set up, you could only send to contacts who had a particular tag applied to them. And I know a lot of you have built your workflows around that. And so we haven't taken that away. We've just added additional flexibility around identifying those recipients. So you can really drill down into specifics. So um, we also, in your contacts page, you can, there's two more videos if you wanna check them out about um, saving segments and filtering your contacts, check them out. Um, it will kind of tell you, you can filter into those contacts on your contact page and then save a segment and you can send a broadcast to that segment. So in your recipients here, you have your filter. So when I click this, you can see this is a segment I have right here is um, everyone who's named Tom in my contact list. Uh, so I have a save segment here, but I want to send this to a new filter. I want to choose, I want to, I want to start fresh here. So you can see here, like I said, uh, you can choose several options here, but you can see tag. Tag is still there. You can choose tag and it will give you uh, some choices for tags that you have. So we didn't take tag away from you, um, but I could choose to drill down into first names. Like I said, everyone who's named Tom. Uh, last name, maybe I want to target everybody in the same family. Phone number, maybe it's uh, area code or, or some other criteria. Uh, email address, created date, Maybe I want to reach out to folks I, I've only added to my sales message account in the last three days. Uh, you can do that as well. Updated date uh, and tag, of course. So for my, for my scenario here, I am going to use email address and I'm going to say that it contains Bluth. Boop, boop, boop booth.co. So the, the use case for this is I want to target everyone who's in this company. This is a company picnic. I'm wanting to send out a message to everyone. So everyone in the that has the email domain of booth.co. So the email contains booth.co. And you can see here 12 contacts meet that criteria. They match. So you might be wondering, well, how do I know if those are the right 12 contacts? Well, you don't yet. But when I hit select, you can see here the 12 contacts. I can now click into them and see a list of all of the folks who meet this criteria. And I can say, yep, nope, yep, yep. So uh, if, if it's not right, you can go and change your filter. You can go and edit your tags, whatever that might be. You have that flexibility to do so. So you can guarantee that you're sending to the right folks. So that's one change that we made to the filtering. It's really, it's really putting a lot more power into your, into your hands and we're only gonna keep making it better and better and better. So the next thing, I'm gonna choose who I want to send this broadcast as. So choose the drop down here. Um, there's a couple things to note here. So if you, for a 10 digit long code, 10 DLC, you can only send to 500 contacts daily, 500 unique contacts daily. So what that means is if you go past that, you might get filtered by the carriers. Now with 10 DLC, if you don't know about 10 DLC, I'll, I'll link an article below, but with 10 DLC, when you get your trust score, that may change. 
totally will change. Um, so, so we will definitely change this when, when we have that additional information. But right now, we're going to, to meet the carrier requirements, we're going to limit to 500 unique contacts a day for a 10 digit long code number. However, if you want to send to thousands of people, we do have a shared short code that you can use. Couple things to be aware of if you choose the shared short code. Number one is that it is only one way. People can't respond to this message, so it's not a two-way street here. You're just sending them some information, a promo code, something. Um, number two is short shared short codes are going away with 10 DLC. So probably by the end of the year, shared short, short, wow, say that four times fast, seven times fast. Shared short codes are going to go away by the end of the year. So um, this will not be a long-term option. So just keep that in mind, but obviously I'm only sending to 12 people, so I'm going to send as Rand. So uh, then we get into our, you know, if you wanna send now or if you want to schedule it to go out at a later time. If I want to send it, since it's only going to 12, I can I can choose to send it out uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. in my local time zone here. If this were 2,000 contacts matching, it will automatically kick you into advanced scheduling. Because like I said, you can only send to 500 a day. So we don't want you to get filtered. So we will allow you to go in and make sure that you are setting up the requirements to uh, to drip out your broadcast over a certain period of time. So I'm gonna still stick with send now, but I'm gonna turn on advanced scheduling. So as you can see here, it says send to 500 recipients daily. Like we said, you can only send to 500 but I have a really, really small team. So I'm worried about handling the intake, handling the responses from this. So I'm going to change this to six. I'm only sending it to 12, so I wanna send it out over two days. And you know, as long as it's during the week, I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't wanna be sending to them on Saturday. Um, actually, you know what, I am gonna send it. It's about a picnic. It's okay to send them on Saturday. And I can choose the time for your broad, for my broadcast to run. So I want these all these messages to be sent out at 9 a.m. on these days. So based on the stuff that I've chosen, so six recipients a day, these are the days I'm okay with it being sent out. This is the time in my time zone. It will start on the 20th and it will finish on the 21st. So I'm going to add my message in here. Hello ready to chat about planning the company picnic. So when I have this already, I can choose also to send a test to any number that I enter in here because maybe maybe I add an image to it or or maybe I add some emojis and I want to see how that's going to look on my phone. You can choose to do that. You can choose to send a text. But I am going to choose to send the broadcast now. So you can see it is now currently in progress. And the final thing I wanted to show you uh, that we, we changed is we kind of, we improved the analytics for your broadcast. So you can really drill down into what what's working and what may not be working. So for this, for this example, you can see it went out to 12 people. And so I'm going to actually click into this one and get a little more information. So um, this was just a test one, but, but you can see uh, total was sent to 12. They were all successful. None of them failed. Nobody replied though. And, but nobody opted out. So I can take a look at some of this. And if I click in here, I can see which contacts it was sent out to. Maybe I did have some failures. Then I can choose here, can choose this drop down, and I can choose to see who all have failed. Obviously, no, nobody got, nobody had any failures, but, but I could choose to see that as well. Also, if I really like how this broadcast went, uh, maybe it was successful. I can just choose to clone this broadcast and send one similar. Obviously, with different times, you can't send something back in time. But um, I can choose to keep the criteria similar and and send a broadcast just like that. Let me go back and just show you one more thing. I think I had a, 
So here we go. Here's one that had uh, two failures in it. So when I click into failed, you can see here um, the two the two that actually failed. So um, that's just a little little overview for you about the the changes that we made. I know this is a long video, so I hope if you've stuck in there with me through it all, thank you. I appreciate your sacrifice and I appreciate your time. And I hope that you're able to get in there and start sending broadcasts. And as always, please provide your feedback to us at feedback.salesmessage.com. Like and subscribe the videos uh, for any more how to's or it to, you know, stay in the loop for any of our product releases, our big new cool features that we keep building. And until next time, I will chat with you later.